All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of I Love Fishing. Out here at Coon Rapid, this is uh, Lake Seneca, little tiny lake that's part of the Coon Rapid Park System. And um, yeah, got the little cool portable guy scanning here. And right here is supposed to be uh, six feet. Lots of panfish. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video. But yeah, if you guys want to come do some pan fishing and you want kids to catch some fish, yep, here's a place to do it. Uh, water is very low, as you guys know, throughout the state. There is a drought that we all are having issues with, but yeah. So reading that guy there, and right off of this is 10 feet. So it's 10 feet deep and you guys can see all of those uh, panfish. All chilling. But yeah, you want to take your kid to come out and get some fish, you can come fish this guy, but you do need a trout stamp to fish this lake because it's a designated uh, trout lake from the DNR. They stock trout here, so you do need a trout stamp. But you want to get on some action in the metro for panfish, come here. You do need to pay to come in this park too, unless you get an annual pass. But you can also park outside of the the park and walk in if you want some exercise which is always good right but you can do that or pay those fee daily fee five bucks or the thirty dollar annual fee for local county and you come in and uh do some fishing around here and there's also the mississippi river you know right next to it too so a couple options to do some fishing but yeah and all these panfish don't see no trout yet but yeah pretty cool see that this thing is around six feet right there and uh right here is 10. Yeah, these guys are hungry as soon as i drop my sonar they're all coming to it thinking it's food <laughs> all right guys that's a quick update with this for you guys yeah. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, just right there is 16 feet. It's marking some stuff. Usually that means it's a weed, but there's occasional fish that come right underneath it, like that guy. But yeah, so pretty cool. Still chilling at this uh, Seneca Lake here. But yeah, again, you do need a trout stamp to fish here. But lots of panfish. Those guys, they caught a couple of trout. So I mean, you could get lucky and get a couple of trout. But yeah, come check it out. Do your, um, you know, pay your fee to get in. Make sure you have the trout stamp to fish this lake. And uh, you should be legit. So, good little place to come during, uh, you know, open water time. Yeah, right there, it's a... Uh, 16 and a half feet so it gets it's pretty deep not being too far yeah i said like right there is 15 feet all right this be it all right guys made it to the other dock here and the sonar says that spot right there is about eight and a half feet it's marking some stuff on the bottom And a couple floating around two feet. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, this is a second dock. Really weedy on this side. But yeah, again, part of the other side is better for pan fishing. So, once of all, as long as you have your cool trout stamp, your fishing license pay your way to get in this place either the five dollars day day parking or annual 30 bucks for Noka county come out and fish here i'm gonna make my way to the dam but this will sum it up for the seneca lake again this is a designated lake trout so make sure you have your good stuff to get on this lake and uh yeah a bunch of little fish being chased right there so yeah this this piece is about 10 feet I have to get all this weed all right that's it for this see you guys 
All right, guys. So here is the Coon Rapid East East Coon Rapid um, side. Has a visitor center there, parking, porta potties, and that's where the dams are. There's a small side dam and there's a big dam. So that's where we'll be going. We'll check it out here. Good place to bike, walk, come have fun, grill, picnic, whatever. Uh, I don't know if you can grill here, but I think there is some, some tables over there that has grill in the other parking lots, I believe. So. All right, so here's the cool smaller dam side. And yep, water super, super low. Oh yeah, super, super low. We'll check it out, see how deep it is. I didn't realize there was those tunnels underneath. Water's always been so high, never see that. So let's take a look. Oh, you got one. Okay, let's take a look. See how deep it is. All right, there's a bobber. Let's see. So we can do this one hand. Oh yeah, it's 10 feet right there. Oh wow, okay. So that means with the water level up higher, you see the water line. It probably could be 20 feet, just straight down. But right now, yeah, right now it says that's 12 feet. Let me see if I can I'm gonna do a screen recording here. The dirt pile's like right here. All right, so here's the screen recording right now. Let's drop right below this thing here and it's showing 12 feet so this is 12 feet right here you guys will see on the screen that's 12 feet pretty deep i didn't think it was that deep let's drag this thing around here let's see what else we see drop it again yeah 13 feet right there as I move down yep 13 feet right here so you see the line down oh 13 yeah 13 feet right below this so let's try this corner The corner is 11 feet. This corner is saying it's, yep, around 11 feet right here. I'm gonna walk down towards the middle of this area and I'll rescan again. Okay, drop that guy there. Let's see what it says. 13 and a half feet right there. So that's saying that's 13 feet. Drag it. Fourteen feet right there. No, let me. So that's saying fourteen feet. A couple of things hugging that bottom one fish or so. Keep going. All right. So right here it says it's fifteen feet. So, 15 feet right here. So yeah, it's pretty pretty deep right off of this guy. So if you guys drop it down at this current water level, yeah, it's 15 feet down there. So that would mean that when it's regular water, yeah, it's gotta be 20, 20 plus feet down. 
so pretty deep so yep you guys will see on the screen here i'll have it running at the same time and i'm gonna make it to the big dam but give you guys a bit of information about this little spot i never fished here on this area right here see a lot of people they uh, usually go for crappies or panfish and maybe catfish and carps so this little side of the dam has those kind of things and sometimes there is smallies i've seen a few people post catching smallies but i'm not sure if it's right here or on the other side but multi-species area so this is i don't know what you would call this the little dam of coon rapid dam it's right next to the visitor center so okay hope this gives you guys uh some information and uh, we'll go to the big dam like to also add forgot that when you fish this area and over there or any part of this area besides that little lake you don't need a trout stamp you just need a minnesota fishing license and you can fish this whole area for any species that are in season and whatever else that the uh, fishing regulation says that you can or cannot catch so be sure to read the regs but yeah this area you do not need a trout stamp all right so I made it to the bigger bigger side over here i don't think i'll make it to the other side but all i have time for today is right here so and i can see the bottom oh yeah you can see the bottom right here you can see all the bottom Test here. Yeah, because I can see the rocks, the big rocks. Ooh. Okay. The water is very low. People fish here, catching catfish, walleye. Momo. So all kinds of fish here. Alright guys. Water is too low. So won't be able to measure this area. I'll go measure the other side where the boat launch is. On our way. Alright. There's a little dam on the cross from it. And I always thought this was deep, but I don't know if you guys can see the video. It's super shallow. Very rocky. Makes sense to why people catch smallies here though. They like those rocks. You see a couple pictures of people catching them along this uh, area. So makes sense. With the deeper water, normal water level, yeah prime spot you guys won't have to measure this area so I can see it <laughs> oh yeah look at all those logs right here so this would be a spot for fish to hide underneath pretty cool so one thing about the park it is open 5 a.m. to 10. Maybe extend it for official programs. But yep. Can't fish on the dam, obviously. So we'll check this side. That's the boat launch for the upper part. Alright guys, so now I'm on this side. Apparently this is 15 feet. Right here. This little side, 15 feet. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, 15 feet. You guys will see on the screen there. That's, that's nuts. 15 feet too. 
Yeah. Continuously 15 feet around this area. Which is pretty cool. Didn't think it'd be 15 feet. Yep, still 15 feet. So along this whole edge, I'm gonna assume it's 15 feet as part of the dam. So that's pretty cool. Yep, 15 feet. So this spot against the wall is 15 feet. All right, it's not marking much right now, but yeah. Hopefully this helps you guys for those who would like to know. Again, just informational video today. Coming out here to check it out and see the low waters. Don't have enough time to go across to the other side where all the good stuff is, but this is what I have. Okay, till then guys, peace.